Greetings everyone, and welcome back to Pep Organ. Today I'm going to be giving you a quick tutorial on how to install Gregorio on Mac computers. Now if you don't know what Gregorio is, it's a software that allows you to input, uh, typeset, and notate Gregorian chant. Now Gregorian chant is actually quite different to notate than uh, regular music notation. Sibelius is what I use to compose regular music, and it's fairly robust and it's been around for a very long time. Now Gregorio, on the other hand, and Gregorian chant operates in quite a different way, and unfortunately there isn't a particularly clean or efficient graphical notation method to compose Gregorian chant or to type it out. So what has uh, been invented is Gregorio, which is a form of code, essentially, which uses the program called Tech, or it's spelled T-E-X, like Tex. Um, this is something that coders will be familiar with, but probably not your average musician. And personally, coming from Sibelius, I was very daunted by the idea of having to code music uh, rather than having to use a graphical method, which I'm so used to. Of course, we like to use the mouse and sort of input notes as you see them, but this is quite different in the sense that you're running from the back end and then you typeset it and it creates the chant for you. So, um, if that sounds a little scary, don't worry, I'm going to do a very, very simple introduction and demonstration of how you uh, can get Gregorio installed on a Mac computer in within five minutes. Now, the, there's a Windows procedure as well, but I won't go over it here because I haven't done it myself. I just want to show you this, and this will run on most Macs, so it should be very easy to get up and running. So we'll come and have a look here, and I'll just show you, and you can follow along in the description too for the instructions. But essentially, what we're going to do is just go through step by step and get Gregorio installed. So the first thing to do is to install the program MacTech from this website. So what I can do is I can get this website and go to whatever web browser that you like, go to the website, and very simply it'll load up MacTech, and you just want to download the MacTech.pkg file. Um, whatever one is the most recent will probably be fine. And as it says, it's you need uh, Mac OS 10.14 or above, so pretty much any Mac from the last 10 years will be fine. So once you've got MacTech, uh, you will see in your downloads folder, you'll get Mac Tech here, and you'll want to open that, and you'll want to install the program. So all you need to do there is just continue, just click through all the things and agree to the software license and all those things. Now I've already installed it, so I won't click install here, but you can just see there there's a installation procedure. Don't worry about customizing it. If you just want to do the simplest way, just click install, and then it will be done. Once you've done that, we're done with step one. Now we want to install Gregorio. Now Gregorio is stored on GitHub, and again, just go to whatever web browser you like, type in, well, paste in the link, copy and paste the link. Here's the Gregorio website, and you'll get familiar with this website if you're doing anything with Gregorian chant, because over here you'll find there's actually a lot of tutorials and there'll be a lot of guides for how to use Gregorio. So what we want to do here for Mac, I've already gone to the website that tells you installing Gregorio under Mac OS X, so we need to just go to... We've already got Mac Tech, which is what we've done in the first step, and now we just want to go to the download page here. So this is the installer. So I click on this, and that brings us to the GitHub, and to find the actual download link, you just need to scroll down until you find Assets. And once again, because we're on Mac, we're going to install the one that's called Gregorio.pkg. And once you've installed that, going back to your Downloads folder, you'll again find that it is here, and you want to open that PKG. You may have to go into your system settings to just make sure that it's allowed. That will be in the security tab of system preferences. But once you've done that, you should be able to go through and once again, agree to the software license and then install it again. And like I have did last time, I've already installed this, so I won't do that now, but that just shows you how it's done. Now we've got all the things that we needed to do installed. So the next step is to open TechShop. So all I need to do for this is go to my applications folder so applications is here, and I'll just scroll down, and tech shop will be in this folder called tech, and I'm going to go to tech shop here. So there it is. It's just going to open up a blank document. Um, you may need to go through some introductory steps, but basically you will get a black, blank document here, and I'm just telling you to paste in this very basic script. This is the, the, basic, the most basic you can really get. And I'm going to save that, not as a tech file, which is the standard, but actually, if you go down, you'll find a GABC file. It's down here, GABC. That's the chant notation that we want. And I'm going to save that 
into a blank folder. So I'm going to actually go to my desktop and I'm going to create new folder. And let's just call this for now, uh, Greg. How about that? We'll call it Greg. So untitled.gabc in the Greg folder. Right, now that I've done that, uh, we can close that and go to step four. Get Lua LaTeX plus SE by doing this. Now this is an important file you need to rend to basically create the typesets of the PDFs of your what your Gregorian chant is. So to get that, it's a little complicated, but all you need to do is just follow these steps. You can find it in users slash shared slash Gregorio slash contrib slash tech shop. And you'll have that. All you need to do that is to copy that link. So go from the slash and get all of that, copy it, go to your desktop, click on the desktop and you can go to go to folder here. And I'll just paste that right in like that. And that will take me straight to the folder that I need. Then we need to grab this file called um, Lua LaTeX plus SE engine. Not the one called Lua Tech, but the one Lua LaTeX, okay? So you wanna do that, you can copy it by pressing Command C or by going to edit and copy. So you've got the file copied. Then you need to go to another place that's kind of hard to get to, the library. So once again on the finder, you go click go, but then we actually need to hold the option key and you'll see that here, if I hold option and look up here, once again, you get this option, you get this option called library to show up. You go to library, scroll down to tech shop. There it is, because it's all installed already. And after tech shop, we want to go to the file folder called engines. In the engines folder, this is where you want to paste your um, Lua LaTeX that you just copied. I've already done it here, as you can see, but you would just have to click edit and click paste item. So if I click paste, I'm going to get an option to replace it. Well, don't need to do that. I've already installed it. So that's all you need to do. That's step four. Finally, we're nearly done. Uh, that's all the inst installation steps. And now we're just going to create our first Gregorian chant. So go back to tech shop. It's going to open another uh, empty file and we're going to just copy in this bare bones script for now. Very, very simple. It's just, you don't have to worry about what all this means right now. The main thing is that you're going to call your Gregorio score, whatever you named that file we just created that was the GABC file. Remember this one in Greg? So I called mine untitled. So I'm just going to call it untitled. Not .dabc, just untitled. And then I'm going to save this file into the same folder as the GABC. So this is now saved as a tech file. So that's the standard and saved into the Greg fo folder. So click save. Okay. And finally, we go to the top left of this part here. We do not click typeset yet. We click on the typesetting program and we want to get to Lua LaTeX plus SE. That's the one that we've just installed. So click that and then you want to click typeset. And what it's going to do is it's going to combine these two files you've made, your untitled and your GABC, these two, the tech and the GABC file, and it's going to create yourself a chant. Let's see what it does. So have to wait for it to do the typesetting. We have a little console here and there it is. So that's a, a little first word of a Kyrie. You can see that it's actually given us a large letter, um, which is what the chant notation would do typically. But this is all input from my GABC file. If we go back and look at that and compare the two, you notice it's actually created a couple files here, but we're just interested in the GABC file and the PDF. So you can see that the name is um, untitled. Then you have C4. C4 is the clef. C4 is the name of the clef. You can learn about all this notation online as well. It's very easy once you understand it. And then you have these words here, and you can see that after each syllable, you've got a note, and these notes correspond to a particular num on the stave. And that dot, you can see the H with the dot, corresponds to the dot here. So that is all you need to do. And now, once you start following, once you've done that, you're completed. Um, and to make one final step, just to make your life a little easier, if you're doing this in future, Go back to that tech file and just put at the very start on your first line of code this instruction. That means that now that it's telling the tech program to be Lua LaTeX plus SE at all times, so I don't need to go up here anymore and look for that. I can just click typeset and it will just do it for me perfectly. Um, and if something goes wrong, then you'll always get an error. So you'll always know if something you've done in your code is wrong. So that is how you produce Gregorian chant scores 
uh, through Gregorio. So I hope that once you've got this up and running, you can start looking at tutorials, guides, and all those things. And really, you'll find that it's quite intuitive and it's quite easy to learn, but you have to do it one step at a time. And I found it very scary at first because there's a lot to understand. And I thought that I'd just create this tutorial so that you can get yourself up and running and then you can learn all the rest. So I hope you enjoyed this video. Please subscribe to Pepperwalken for more videos like this. Thanks.